Welcome, brothers. Hello there. It is I, Arivan the Exile, and I am back to cast you another video about Dawn of War Unification mod. It has been a new release, and I didn't have time so much, uh, so I didn't gather my strength to show you what's happening on this beautiful channel right now because today we got uh, unification mod 6.0 uh, no not 6.0 we got 6.9 uh, 1 version because we have patched it we didn't even try uh, yes we did try we i have recorded the multiplayer match but it seems like my multiplayer match cannot be replayed so i decided to show you against the ai i play it as a space marine and let's start it. Uh, I play as a Space Marines against the new faction called Death Guard. Yeah, everybody. That's the long faction we've been waiting for. And we can see some conscripts, the original guardsmen, right power. here. And from the enemy side, I mean the Space Marine side, we can see some probably. Oh, uh, yeah, see. orcs. Me. Look at this beautiful faction, everybody. Look at this HQ. I'm so interested in this. We've been waiting so long, so long for this. So everybody, let's jump into into this battle and let's see what is going on. Nurgle cultist squad. That is how they look like. The buildings are completely different from any other Chaos faction. I mean, it should be, of course. Uh, <laughs> and the Space Marines and all of the vanilla factions are now completely remade. So they, you don't have a feeling of vanilla gameplay. I mean, results can be sometimes from the vanilla gameplay, but this never will be like vanilla anymore. Yes, we had in the in the last version we had only Warhound for the Space Marines, but no, now Space Marines have more stuff. Uh, now Space Marines got Let icons changed. They got, uh, yeah, for every unit they got icon changed, and they got uh, Force Commander Borean icon changed. So he is now even more bold and foolish. <laughs> I'm joking, uh, he cannot be Commander Boreal because he belongs to the Blood Ravens. And the Blood Ravens are not Ultramarines. What? <laughs> oh, this is the Plague Lord we've been waiting for. This is the guy we wanted to have on the field, and his name is the Plague Lord. He's so stinky, but he's so scary. Uh, he got that pa uh, black sword in his hands. Uh, look at that helmet. So brutal. The Death Guard Marines are on the field finally. Now we can play against them. Space Marines. The Nurgle uh, said uh, to when they see them as the enemies on the field. Space Marines. <laughs> So, now when we know the Space Marines are on the field, they will chase those cultists down, they will probably try to kill them. We are men no more. They are men no more? Yeah, it seems like that. They do not look like humans anymore. They are the spawns of the, of the dead, dead guard. God, I mean the Black God. Alright, we got uh, another focus squad trying to capture this relic near the Space Marines, but the uh, Space Marine Tactical Marines are here. They say, no, we resist your flag gifts. We do not care about your flag lord. We do not care about your flag legion. We will eliminate you. Cultists are trying to like shoot the force commander down, but no. And with the assist of the flag lord, Plague Lord got 2000 HP, holy lord of Terra. But he is not that strong in melee or nor the range. But he can do some abilities probably, who knows. Uh, he must be a Plague Lord for a reason, of course. I didn't try this faction yet. Now let's see what is going on in here. 
Purification progress gives a Doom Blast ability for to cultist increase the maximum possible HP uh, uh, and increase the damage. No, this increase only the damage. Plague knives. They will receive plague knives. That's interesting. Uh, other than that, space minutes are going for the second generator. Plague marines got only one. <laughs> That's pretty scary. <laughs> Black Lord is pretty angry and he's pretty... Um, he forgot stuff, you know? Okay? Obey the Black Lord. Because he knows what to do, of course. Uh, space Marines are captured in the critical location. And there we go, we got a scout who is also trying to capture this critical location on the on the right side and uh, on the left side are also being captured in cri three critical locations have been captured uh, from this moment. Oh my god. The plague marines and the salt plague marines are on the field. Salt plague marines got a... Uh, Mace, Axe and Cleaver while the the Plague Marines got uh, Plague Breacher, uh, Plasma Gun, Melta Gun, Blight Launcher and uh, Plague Spreader. Alright, that's pretty nasty if you ask me. Some of those weapons require tier 3, some of those weapons even requi require tier 4. <coughs> And now the Space Marines are in the action to slaughter as many cultists as they can. And they do not surrender. This is what looks like the tier 2 for the Plague Marines. You can see those bugs around, so you can assume that's the Plague, uh, plague Listening Post or Plague Tower, call it how you like it. Second Scourge Generator Six looks nothing like the uh, rest of the generators in the game, and it's completely different and more plaguish. So, yeah, I like that. Plague Lord is fighting the uh, Force of Render now, and it seems like uh, Plague Lord is going to kill the Force of Render. Yep, that's right. But we got the Devastator Marines now on the squad. Which is, a, which is a new heavy infantry squad. Leg Lord got low HP right now. I think he's going down for that kill of the fourth commander. He, he, he's dead. Now a sold leg marine charging in and exploding when they die. Holy lord, Sarah. You can see that explosion. And they also got two bullets space. That's a lot of explosions right there. Space Marines, Tactical Marines got the same upgrade and most of those require tier 2 and armory except for the Flamers. And now Heavy Devastator Squad got the multi melters Online only requires armory. And Plasma Cannons, Mass Cannon and Gravity Gun, Rotation Gun. Holy Lord of Terra, that's, that's what we've been waiting for. So Space Marines got a new feeling to the, to the gameplay right now. And all of the vanilla factions, all of them. When I say all, I mean all of them. Even the 30 company has been changed, but that will be... We will let that for an, another episode. For this time we are casting this episode with the Ultramarines. I mean, classic Marines. They are still there, they are still the same, I believe they got Primaris Marines, so that's a new thing. <clears throat> I'm not sure if we are going to see the, the, the Primaris Marines in this battle right now. Black Lord is on the field once more. Now we got Machine Cult Online. What else we got? This is a Temple of Disease. Oh, we are building that bane pit over the two dead conscripts right there. Yeah, build it over the dead bodies. We don't care. We are the Nurgle. We are the disease. 
Look at this, uh, box walker slaves. Look at them. <laughs> they're, disease makes you see Nurgle's power. They Your are so power. diseased. Oh my god, look at them. It's like, it's like they are using the COVID for the, for the protection. COVID is the cure for these guys, it seems like, but yeah. <laughs> they're building the... They're building the fifth school generator, and Space Marines got four right now. Incoming Chaplain and the Plasma Pistols for, for the Space Marines. And uh, Commander Boreal, I mean, Force Commander is online. Shooting with his plasma pistol, he also got that teleportation uh, in the back. Uh, the Hero Warriors stuff. I mean, it should be added to the game because why not? I mean, it costs a lot. Like you, you can always spend your money to upgrade your hero, your commander, your primary commander, and then you will receive those Hero Warriors. If you want to invest, I mean, that's the way of the investing your money, so it should be added to the multiplayer matches, if you ask me, but it's up to you guys to decide it. Now, Devastator Marines are shooting at the listening post, even two of them got the melt, multi melters in the hands. Uh, let's see who, who of them got, yeah, these two fellas. These two fellas got multi melters in their hands and uh, tactical marines got the missiles and uh, most of them got the plasma gun. That's a uh, brutal rhino, which is a uh, right for the dead guard. It looks pretty much the same if you ask me, except he only got that flag all over that vehicle, the flies and the disease, uh, but uh, it does look the same pretty much. Okay, Nurgle, Nurgle got the uh, only grenade launcher added to them. This is the full champion. No, that's not, that's uh, somebody else, I don't know who that is. This seems like the enforcer of the Dead Guard Marines, I don't know who that fella is, but look at this cultist champion. <laughs> cultist champion looks like a missionary from the Sisters of Battle, and but he is more like Nurgleish. Yeah? <laughs> Alright. We got Leg, leg Marines. Ooh, that's the icon of Despair Barrier. Interesting model and interesting uh, flag he is holding, as we can see. Voice acting is also pretty fun. Look at the flag lord, he will die for the second time, I think. Oh, yeah. Flag awake marines, that's, that's new. Uh, they are all holding that flag launchers in their hands, and they are heavy infantry. Maximum army squad is 5, but probably 6 with that uh, champion, our real champion. And when they die, they explode, which is a cool thing for the dead guard marine. <laughs> How about the rhino? The rhino doesn't have anything more. Oh, that's a hero, Flakecaster. Malignant uh, Flakecaster, he is like a chaos sorcerer for the Nurgle. For the Nurgle. Nurgle is my master. Oh, this is casting some of the abilities right now, and I don't like it at all. That flag caster is demolished. <laughs> flag marines in the back uh, with the, that uh, flag glitters. Let's see when they shoot what will happen. Oh yeah, we can see that flag through that weapon. And they all explode when they die. <laughs> That's interesting. 
Uh, the main cultists have captured the left side, but the middle side. Oh, that's the flag, the bot fly. <laughs> Interesting. It looks like a land speeder tempest, but it's only called the bot fly. Good thing my space marines are uh, attached with the missile launchers, so we, they can do a lot of damage to the aircraft. They do not care about the aircraft. And the uh, ultramarine commander is like just destroying them with a the chainsaw. They will not stand and hold this. These cultists are squishy, but a mighty space marine. Oh, there they are. The honor guard. You can tell, like, did you imagine like the space marines can have helmets like this? Yes, you can. Because those space marines are veterans, they are the honor guard of the they are the elite unit. So they are the elite space marines. You and basically they do not care about any Xeno or any heretic on the field. Look at this beast. I've been waiting for this beast for so long. It and it is called the Desil Desecrator. Desecrator? Desecrator is the massive big uh, fat ass vehicle. <laughs> Look at it. <laughs> and it is uh, it is on the field. Now the space marines have captured this critical locations and they are holding them. Like the more of the 50% is belongs to the space marines now. Black Hawk Marines with the flag launchers in their hands. Uh, now we can see some turret, de turret demon. <laughs> Interesting A name for the turret of the the Death Guard chapter, and there it is. Uh, One minute until taken hold. One minute to control and win. Look at this. The master of boils. I can despair barrier. Uh, sorry about my silence. Uh, I was like checking out like that. That vehicle destroyed uh, one turret, it seems. What fly online now? And uh, cooldown is like going down, so it means the space marines will win all of this. Here we got the flex surgeon, which is a killer unit. And the space marines show uh, complete, complete dominance over the Nurgles. So yeah, that is how you win against the Nurgles. Uh, didn't I tell uh, like all of the space marine sound of the guns have been changed? So yeah, let's see the resources real quick. Uh, we had 166 and 78 going for the space marines, and we uh, we had uh, 77 and 78 for the power. So that means like space marines co completely shown the dominance over the Nurgle, but actually. We will we will see overall when we quit this battle and then we will see the best results. Let's check it out. All right, Space Marines have uh, shown the military dominance, but the requisition and power uh, goes to them. Oh my God, we killed uh, 114 and we lost only seven units. So that means they killed only seven units. We have demolished three buildings. And we lost the building. <laughs> How about requisition? Uh, with requisition goes to the dead guard. I mean insane AI with advanced tactics and improved AI. So yeah, it will be normal to AI have better economy. But let's see the technology. Yeah, we have the, the unit upgrades 10 times and research count 23. And reinforced units goes to the dead guard probably of the cultists and stuff like that. We have captured five strategic points, they have captured four. Uh, we have captured five ta four times uh, critical location and two times we have captured the relic. So 
So that's about it from this uh, battle. And I hope so. I will see you in the next uh, episode. So stay tuned, guys. And the Emperor protects.